This is the TN Ready practice test for grade 8 math. Question currently number 22. A ski lift is used to transport skiers to the top of a slope. I hope this isn't supposed to also be a drawing of the slope to, or the ski lift because if you get here, did they just like release your body here? That's terrifying. Um, a certain ski lift is 3,000 meters long. The graph represents the relationship between the number of minutes in the ski lift X and the distance traveled. So anytime I have a graph, I want to do a quick cursory look at a few things. The first thing I'm going to do is, of course, look at the title, ski lift, okay. But I want to really focus on the axis labels and what they're doing. The bottom is time in minutes. So it's time is increasing so it's trying to tell you how long it would really take to go certain distances. So at three minutes, you'll go 1,500 meters. Because the other axis label is distance in meters. So it tells me essentially that I'm as time goes up, and you want to always, when you have coordinate plane like this, if it's, especially if it's like first quadrant, you want to sort of do an analysis of what's happening as here in the dependent variable as the independent variable changes on its own. So what's the y doing as x moves? Anytime we do slope, for instance, um, you'll notice that we'll do, we'll look at the y values, so change in y over change in x, or even if you have the slope formula, this thing. So the story being told is, what happens up here as this thing just does whatever it's going to do? These minutes are going to happen whether this thing's running or not. So the story is about the distance. So let's take a look. You'll notice that it's linear, first off. It's a straight line, which means the distance from here to here, or the slope, sorry, from here to here, will be the same as it is from here to here. So you have that straight line. It also means that between each unit of time, it's changing the same amount. So between zero minutes and one minute, it's gone here. Uh, between one and two, it's the same distance, because this is 500, and 500 plus 500 is 1,000, and one plus one is two. So it's the same. So I'm going to look in terms of what's happening with distance and then in time. M says, uh, what does the slope of the line mean in this context? So they want to know, again, what happens to Y as X does its thing. The ski lift travels 500 meters every minute. So 500 meters at one minute. Another 500 meters would be 1,000. So, yep, that looks pretty good. Yep, everything's checking out. So this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to put a little... Um, circle on it just in case. The ski lift travels one meter for every 500 minutes. That makes absolutely no sense. Meters are down here, or minutes are down here. The thing doesn't even go up to 500. But this definitely goes up to one, so that's out. The rate of the ski lift increases every minute. Uh, what? We're not measuring the rate of the ski lift. Now, uh, rate of change does exist, and that's a math word, so some people will fall into that trap. They're being, um, it's a distractor, essentially, but they're kind of being like little jerks, right? They're not really going along. The rate here uh, is just a mathematical analysis, but if I'm looking at what the real-world relationships are, I need to look at the two axis labels and compare those. The rate of the ski lift increases every minute. That would mean, like, somehow or other you go faster, and it doesn't. The rate is exactly the same. See how it's linear? And the rate of the ski lift decreases. There's no way. I mean, it doesn't go down. So the real pit that they're trying to drag you into here is you see rate and say, well, it does increase, but the rate doesn't change. The rate's the same. Each time it goes up by the same amount. That's the rate. The rate is a measure of change. So the change is the same. It's just each minute that goes by, the app the actual distance does increase. So the answer to number 22 is M. Again, when you get these type of questions, they're not like super mega difficult, but there was an issue with the wording that they use. So make sure that you answer the question that they ask. If they'd ask a question about um, something about the rate, and this over here had said rate, I don't know why ski lift would change rate very quickly. That would seem very unsafe to me, but who? what do I know about ski lifts? Um, but I need to look at the axis more likely to get a full, uh, a, a be able to address the situation in a real world way.